Hi everybody, I'm doing a session for Johannes. This is a five minute session and his goals are um, to learn more about a star seed family. So I'm gonna go ahead and relax here and get connected and <laughs> we'll see what comes up, okay? All right, so Johannes, star seed family, okay. So they're showing me just what looks like little seeds, actually, like watermelon seeds. They're just little black seeds. There's like 20 of them just kind of scattered about. But they're kind of um, bunched up, too. So they're not like um, scattered across the stars or something. Um, it's a black sky, and then it has black watermelon seeds. I can only see them because of the dimensionality of the seed. It just has this risen aspect of it. It's not flat. So there's like like 20 little um, watermelon seeds kind of in a bunch. And it's a dark sky. And I see you looking at up at them. But I also see you looking straight forward at them. And then I see you collecting these seeds within the palm of your hand. And then I see you scattering these seeds. But it's interesting because the seeds don't scatter across the earth. It's like they scatter across the universe. And you use the breath of yourself in order to blow the seeds out into the universe from the palm of your hand. It's quite beautiful. There's something lacking here inside your heart about where you belong kind of thing. Or more about... How do I want to define this? So if we could find an ancestral heritage, a lineage um, of what could be um, personality types that are akin to a certain category, certain type of personality, a certain type of presentation of self, right? Um, you could understand more about why you are the way that you are. So let's say you're um, a bobcat living amongst horses and pigs. It's going to be hard to understand your identity as a horse or a pig um, or even the mud or the grasses that grow. Like you're trying to understand yourself based on what exists around you, but there are no bobcats, you know, saber toothed tigers or whatever um, that exist here on this farm, you know. So where where do you belong? What is your background? What is your lineage? And that's what your heart is longing for, an understanding of a specific category of identity in order to help you understand yourself. Just a second here. Just a bit of exhaustion right now. Exhaustion and sadness. I mean, I could just tell you to be the bobcat and just find out who you are based on what is inside of you. Because no matter what, you're always going to be a variation of many, 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 many things. We get so caught up in these factions of black or white and dromedon or palladian or reptilian or, you know, we just want it to be cut and dry, a textbook um these traits, these qualities define you. You fit into this. This is your birth number, therefore that. We want this stuff. Like we want a scientific, straight, direct, concrete answer. We don't want to just know that we could be everything. We don't want to hear it. We want to have identity. You are really, like, you get this, but you're like, I need to know about at least one aspect of my soul as it connects to the universe. I need to know at least one aspect. And I say, what if you were introduced to something that nobody's ever heard of or knows anything about? And, and I feel very strongly like you got to get out of the mainstream here with this. <sighs> All right, let's see what they say next, okay? <laughs> they show me a monkey, okay? 
This monkey is really wise and it finds tools. It finds clever ways of accomplishing its ideas. And the monkey now is thriving in an environment of self-discovery and figuring things out with this instinctive intelligence. And I don't know if they're just like saying, welcome to your family. <laughs> Welcome to a family of humans that is puzzle solvers and sometimes stumped by the puzzles, but trying, instinctively trying. <sighs> They're doing this because it's extremely important that you also see the value in your own species. There's a lot of question marks out there. Are we really, um, you know, evolved from apes sort of thing? What if we're genetically spliced with apes? You know, either way, they're showing me monkey and they're showing me parts of that type of expression and what it's good at solving these problems and then really embracing your own essence. They're only doing this too because they're not only doing this, but um, they're, they're like, no, don't say only doing this, Abby. We are doing this. And um, they show me... Um, you looking in the mirror and appreciating the human. But there's more to it than that. We just don't have a lot of time, okay? <sighs> yeah, they keep showing me you, um, your feet growing roots and getting planted into the earth and discovering the magic of this planet and why you came here. It's like you want to go back to the ancestors um, to the the original tree where the seeds were set free from. Um, but you're here on earth and you're planted here on earth. So to discover what your gift is or what you are offering, the magic, but there's like what the earth is offering you. It's not just what you are offering the earth, it's what the earth is offering you. You haven't tapped in quite into the magic of this planet yet. And how truly extraordinary it is and why your soul truly came here. Um, and it's out of love. It is out of love. And it's almost like there's some distraction in thinking about what's out there for, from what is right here in front of you. And it's as if you haven't taken the time to actually connect with the magic of the planet. Because it's just become so mundane. It's every day. You are a part of the planet. It's not necessarily the place that anybody wants to be because it's hard, right? But that that's no excuse to continue to, you know, find yourself veering towards the stars again. You haven't figured out why you came here. It, it was out of love. And, the, and Mother Earth or the Earth energies have something very special to share with your soul. That's very highlighted. That's very in bold here. You thought you came here with something to share, but you forgot that it was the earth that had something to share with you. <sighs> hmm. It's neat. Okay. That's what I have for you, Johannes. Thank you. I'm a little dizzy from that. That was actually pretty, that was really intense. That was really, really intense, believe it or not. <sighs> so I'm just disconnecting here from that message. This is going to help you. This is the medicine that you need for that question right now, okay? Um, you totally have alien connections for eons of eternity, okay? But there's something in val of value here, remembering the human and that it is the earth that has something to share with you and choosing to say, I'm ready to discover what that magic is that earth has to share with me. It's going to totally change your whole world. That tiny little discovery is going to change your whole world, okay? 
All right. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Johannes. And for all those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you all have a great day.